Hey guys, this is Patty B within the hauler. I got a couple firearms I'd like to share with y'all. This is my Beretta 81 and this is my Beretta 81 BB, both chambered in 32 ACP. Uh, the series of 81s are blowback operated, double action, semi-automatic pistols that come from the factory with a uh, 12 round magazine. Uh, they both have a uh, 3.8 inch barrel, are 6.7 inches overall. The 81, Weighs 23 ounces without a magazine. The 81BB weighs one more. So the uh, Model 81 was introduced in the mid 70s uh, to give like another option to the then brand new Breda Model 92, which was you know their full size nine millimeter pistol. And it looks, you know, it looks like a baby uh, Breda 92. Although you know the biggest difference of uh, between the pistols is. You know, the Breda 92 is a lock breech. Uh, it's got a falling block design, kind of like the Walther P38, and the Model 81 is a straight blowback. So, uh, some of the features on these pistols. Uh, you've got, both of them have ambi safeties. You've got your magazine release right there. These have both been safety checked already. Um, slide stop, slide release. You've got a single and double action trigger. Uh, this is your takedown lever. Uh, the sights, the sights on both of them are a little windage drift adjustable rear and just a fixed front. And some of the differences between the 81 and the 81 BB, uh, one of the first things you'll notice is you've got a I don't know if that's coming up good, but you've got white dot on your rear and a white front sight. So you've got two circles that you kind of stack on top of each other for a sight picture. On the 81, it's just black. Uh, some of the other differences is uh, the slide's a little thinner here on the uh, 81, and the milling on the slide is a little bit different between the pistols. I don't know if that'll come through. There's a little flatter right here and some different milling on the slides. Uh, another difference is the safety and trigger mechanism are a little bit different. Uh, this one's supposed to be a little more updated and safer, I guess. But I think the trigger on the regular 81 is probably slightly better. The uh, takedown on these pistols is pretty easy. You've got this little button right here. You push that button, rotate your lever, and it comes right off. Recoil spring and guide rod. And one of the cool things about these is even though it's a blowback, you can remove the barrel, you know, because a lot of a blowback barrels are fixed to the uh, lower receiver, but you can take these out so you can swap a barrel or it makes it easier, clean, whatever you want to do. It kind of fits in that groove like that, which I think is a pretty cool, pretty cool design. The reinstallation is just the opposite of the takedown. Get your barrel installed, guide rod and recoil spring, slider on the frame, and flip your lever. And there you go. Pretty simple. Pretty simple, pretty cool. Um, you know, these came in in great quantity two or three years ago. They were everywhere. Uh, classic firearms, AIM surplus. I think everybody had them. And I'm not sure where, I can't even remember where I got mine from, but uh, I bought the 81 first and I liked it so much that I then picked up the uh, 81BB just to see what the differences were. You know, and I think I paid 225 for this one and maybe 250 for that one. And for that price, I just don't know how you can beat it for a quality firearm. Yeah, it's chambered in 32 ACP, which, you know, isn't as popular today, but bred a quality pistol for just over 200 bucks, you're not gonna beat it, you know. But anyways, all right, enough talk. Let's, uh, let's take these things out and see what they can do. All right, we're back here about seven yards. We're gonna take some shots with the Beretta 81. Well, 32, soft shooting. All right, we're back here about seven yards. Mike's gonna give her a run with the bread of 81.
That 32 is soft shooting, isn't it? Yeah, real nice shooting. What guys. do you think? Yeah, very nice. Easy to control. Very nice. All right, we got a target out there about 35 yards. We'll uh, take some shots with a bread at 81. All right, not too bad. You know, if I do my part, it's going to do hers. Uh, pretty sweet shooting gun, super soft. I like it. All right, we're back inside from shooting the uh, Breda 81 and the Breda 81 BB. You know, while shooting these things, you just can't hardly tell the difference between the two other than the uh, white dot sights on the BB versus the uh, regular sights on the uh, regular 81. <clears throat> but man, it's just fun to shoot. You know, I love the 32 ACP. I know it's not as popular now as it used to be, but I like it just because of the uh, you know, it's got reliability of center fire, but it's got the soft recoil of like a 22. And, uh, man, you can just shoot it, hardly any recoil. You can just sit there and ring steel all day, and it's just a lot of fun. You know, another thing's pretty cool because you don't see a whole lot of double stack 32 ACPs. Um, so that kind of makes the Breda unique. Uh, the only, the craziest thing about it is that the grip on a double stack 32 ACP is actually thicker than the grip of a double stack nine millimeter Glock is the uh, Glock, you know, I, I held it up against my 26 and my Glock 26 is thinner than the uh, 81. So, you know, the Breda 92 has always been known for kind of having a thick grip. Well, the uh, 81 is in the same boat, just a really thick grip. It's a small pistol, but it fills the hand, you know, pretty good because it's super thick, but uh, just a lot of fun to shoot and, uh, you know, it's a pretty cool gun. So there you go, guys. Beretta 81 and the Beretta 81 BB. Y'all have a nice day.